I have a super fun and festive haul. Uh, yeah, I know it's not Christmas yet, but I'm not going to believe that. Every day, basically past Halloween, is a Christmas day to me. So I've been festive as freak for several days now. I have my crazy hair on today. The bangs are fake. The poof is real. In fact, I'm going to be making a video showing you guys quick holiday hair techniques. And this is what you can do. I know it's a little out there, but I'm kind of digging it. I feel very cool. Like, too cool to be friends with. But... I'm trying it out. It's probably the highest my hair has ever been, so that's also a new experience for me. But let's jump right in because I got a lot of stuff to cover. Today's haul is sponsored by Mod Cloth, and it's basically all the stuff I like from Mod Cloth. It's like, I love Mod Cloth. I wear all their stuff. This is Mod Cloth. I'm gonna wear it like 30 bajillion times because it's festive. Also, this haul is not just clothing, it is also gifts because if you did not know this, Mod Cloth has like legitimately the cutest little gifts. And bonus, I'm gonna be giving one of you lucky viewers a surprise pack with items from this haul. Yes, that's right. You could win a lot of the things in this haul. I also will be giving away a part of this gift guide on Instagram. So one winner for YouTube, one winner from Instagram. You can enter both places, but you can only win in one of them. Many of the items you see in this haul will actually be in those prize packs. I'm not going to tell you exactly what's in them because what's the fun? You want to be a little surprised when you win something. Now all you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below about what you're excited for this holiday season. You have to make sure you're following both me and Mod Cloth on either YouTube or Instagram wherever you're entering and that's about it. So yeah, excited about that. I like giving away free stuff at the holidays. It just like feels good. It feels right. It feels right to give you guys stuff. So let's jump into the haul. We're gonna start with clothes, just to like get them out of the way, and then we'll get to the cutesy cute like little other gifts, which I think I'm more excited about, but we'll talk clothes first. Okay, so I feel like I need to start with my like favoritest, favoritest thing I've gotten from Mod Cloth and for like ever. It is this amazing velvet suit in this like crazy 70s print. It's like all my 70s dreams. You know, I was trying to figure out like what my era was and I think I figured it out. I think it's 70s. Like if I had to pick a like style aesthetic that best fits me, it's 70s. Like crazy curly hair, weird updos, freedom to do whatever you want. Like I think that's just me. And I think I would have been really killer on the dance floor at Studio 54. Like I think I would have worked it. Anyway, this suit is comfortable as hell. Like, it is so great. The pants are just like the other velvet pants I have from Mod Cloth, which means I love them, except they're in this crazy fun print. What I love about this print is you can wear it with a lot of different colors. I have actually worn this like four times, once on camera and then three times, like anywhere I need to go where I need to look like I know what I'm talking about fashion wise. For some reason, I just gravitate to this suit because it just makes me look cool. Um, I've used it with marigold. I've used it with this brown color and I've also paired it with like a light pink in all th three ways. It's looked amazing. So whatever works for you. As far as comfort level goes, this is like a 10 out of 10 most comfortable thing I've ever owned. I love that the blazer itself is shorter sleeved and I think it looks really hip if you wear a long sleeve shirt underneath it, which I typically do, um, to add like a pop of color because then you get the color coming out of the long sleeve under this like sheared sleeve up here. It's just really cool. It's just, I like, I can't say enough about why I love this because I just think it's so, so hip. It's literally a statement piece. You're either going to love it and be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Or you're going to be like, this is too much. And you're one of those two camps and I get that. But for me, I love it. I think it's epic. I think it's one of the best things I've gotten clothing wise this entire year. Let's keep going. And side note, when I ordered it, I was like, oh, sorry, the fake bangs, they get you. Um, I'm just going to fix you really quick. I fixed them. Okay. When I ordered it, I did not think I would like it. It was like kind of, I was like, Meh, I'm gonna give this a try. And then I gave it a try and I was like, lo and behold, I love you, Miracle Suit. Thank you. Let's keep going. I love this suit so, so much. It's just so incredibly epic. It's just epic. Um, <laughs> I saw this dress and I was just like, do I have a place to wear it? 
No. Do I need it? Yes. Why? Because it's pink metallic. It is literally a pink metallic um, and like fit and flare dress. It comes in right under the bust, so it's super accommodating to every single body type. It's got a little bit of a mock neck, so this would be like appropriate to wear to work if you needed to. And it's just, it's, it's sparkle magic. Sparkle magic dress. I can just see myself wearing this all the time, even past holiday, because I believe metallics should not just be worn at holidays. They should be worn forever. We should all just be dripping in glitter at all times, in all places, and in all things. In fact, I'm disappointed in myself that the only glitter I have on right now is my highlight. And I don't even have enough on my highlight. I need more on my highlight. P.S. My bangs may look really manky. I'm sorry that you're experiencing this, but I'm not gonna stop doing it because I've committed to this aesthetic and it's where we are, people. Sometimes you just commit to something even though like you see it going off the cliff, you're like, nope, nope. I'm gonna stand by my man. And by man, I mean my bangs. This dress looks fantastical on me. Like it's sparkly and gorgeous, but it's still like classy. Oh, girl, I love this. <laughs> I love this a lot. Next, everybody needs an amazing festive skirt. And a plaid skirt is that amazing festive skirt. It has a cute little kind of bow detail here in the front that dips. So it's really great if you're wearing like a tucked in uh, shirt with it or even a bodysuit because it's going to have a nice little detail there that just kind of elevates it. I like that it has an elastic back so it's comfortable if you drink too much or eat too much at your holiday party, which I have, from my past experiences, always done both. I mean, open bar, guys. Who, why, why waste that? If someone's giving you an open bar, you, you use that to your full advantage. Anyway, it's really, really nice. It's lined in this really like silky, almost faux satin uh, polyester. And then the top has got some nice weight to it. I almost feel like it feels woolen. It feels woolen. Now I'm looking for the, the tag. Where are you tag? I just want to play with you. Usually they hide them like in between the skirt and the thingy so you don't see them. <sighs> There's no tag, I don't see it. Is it up here? Girl, I do not know where it is. I give up. Unless it's like literally in here on the seam and I'm not seeing it. Feel, feel, feel. Yeah, I give up. It's made out of whatever you want today. So I absolutely love this skirt. This little detail here is way cuter than I thought it would be and it's very comfortable. It's just like super festive and fancy and I'm here for it. The next dress I picked out, because I feel like holiday seasons is when you can splurge on something that just feels special, right? We all get t-shirts and jeans all the time, but holidays when you get something special, right? And this dress to me is just, so incredibly special. It's white and then has this lovely embroidery and I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see how pretty it is. In pinks, oranges, blues, purples, and then with the vining in greens. This dress is gorgeous, it's special. I also love that the sleeves are mesh so you get that kind of like nude feeling to the whole dress. It's just really, really beautiful. Again, it has that empire waist so it's gonna flare out at the waist uh, and have like a full skirt versus being like a bodycon style and it just feels whimsical and beautiful and it's just a special dress. I saw it and I immediately gravitated to it. It was one of the first things I put in my cart because I was like it's just it's special. It's just special. It's different and I really I really love it. There is like a black version of this with like red and green embroidery but I didn't like it as much. I feel like this is this is way more special. I also feel like you could wear this in a lot more seasons than you could a black dress with red and green embroidery. I mean, one screams Christmas and one screams, I have the greatest fashion sense in the world. You choose which one is which. Not to knock the other dress, but this one is superior. Let's all be real here. This is the better dress. I think this is the prettiest dress ever. I literally feel like a woodland princess fairy in it. It's so whimsical and lovely and it's just beautiful. It's just a really pretty dress. So this short skirt is 
the best. It's got a little stretch, so it's super comfortable. It's got this amazing gold pattern to it that's very like Art Deco. You can throw it with anything. You throw it over some white tights and you're like, bam. Now it's not super short. It's maybe like, yeah, that much above the knee, but it gives this impression of like fun, flirty, ready to party without being inappropriate or like crossing a line. This is good for like work parties. I personally would wear this on New Year's normally because the short skirts are like really hard to navigate when you've had a couple glasses of wine. I don't want to worry about things. I want to know, like you guys have heard about this all the time, I like to wear leggings and shorts under things when I go out. Not because I'm like trying to get rid of chub rub, but because I'm probably going to fall on the floor or be convinced that I can do the splits. I can do the splits, but I've not done them in a very long time and who knows, like the one time I will try to do them is like on New Year's Eve after several drinks. Like that is the time in my life when I try to do the splits. <laughs> Three glasses of wine and it's hey, I can do the splits time. And you know, knowing that about myself, I'm always like, I gotta make sure that I'm taking care of if my skirt flies up, or the wind comes, or whatever might happen, that I'm covered. And that's why I like this skirt, because it's a little bit longer, and you can fit short, shorties underneath it, and not have to worry. It's also got a nice elastic waist, the fabric's got nice give to it, so it's gonna be very comfortable throughout the night, regardless of what you're doing. Um, I just love it. I love metallics. <laughs> I love metallics so much. I feel like I'm living my best sparkly life in this skirt. It is everything. Yes. <laughs> so sometimes I prove my blondness to its fullest extent. I'm filming the try on. This is a day later than when I filmed the intro. And I realized I forgot to include this amazing dress that I'm obsessed with. And I don't know how I forgot to include it because it's the best. It's this rainbow striped sweater dress. Look at the rainbow. It's super cough, like super cough. It's super soft. It does feel like it has like actual wool in it. And I'm just looking here. It's acrylic, nylon, and polyamide. I guess that's polyester, I'm not sure, because this comes from the UK. But it feels like a real sweater. Like it feels like it's got some girth to it. And it's a little bit shorter on me because obviously like I'm very tall, but like I usually look for sweater dresses to wear with leggings anyway, so it's like MBD for me. But just something you should know. And yeah, I just loved it and I forgot to put it in here and I was like, I'm just gonna film something real quick to slide it in. I love this sweater dress mostly because of the 90s rainbow print here. It's like a little bit of rainbow, but not too much. It's very comfortable. It's definitely on the shorter side on me because I'm so tall. But it looks fantastic with leggings, so. Look at that, my new lounge outfit, lounge outfit. <laughs> also, before I forget, I know you guys are gonna ask me about this sweatshirt. The only reason I know that is because I filmed like a little snippet for Instagram and I was wearing it and everybody was like, where did you get that? This is also from Mud Cloth. So is the yellow shirt I tried something on with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link to all of my favorite stuff on Mod Cloth clothing wise because honestly, I just picked more like stuff for a gift guide, stuff you would give as a gift. But there are plenty of things that I also love that are not necessarily in this haul. There is one, oh my gosh, you're going to see it on me because I'm taking a photo in it, but it's a dog print skirt and top and they're like dogs sledding and playing in the snow and I'm like here for it 100%. The reason it's not included in this video is because I'm using it for something else, which is pretty important to me, so I didn't want to like overlap in what you guys saw. I want to keep it fresh, but I will link to it down below and some other things that I loved. Just so you like know, I like basically curate the site for you. Yes, because I love you. That's the clothing. Now let's get into presents. These are the things you can win if you missed it. Again, it's gonna be a surprise because it's gonna come into like what I put together in a box. I might even throw some other things in there like an autographed book that I wrote. We'll see, we'll see. It's all gonna be a little bit of a surprise but it'll include things from this haul specifically. And it's gonna come down to what I can fit in the box I have. <laughs> I love how people have like, think I have my life together, I don't. Um, so the first thing I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with them so much and I hope whoever gets them loves them as much as I love them. They are mermaid wine glasses. Yes, mermaid wine glasses. They, I, you can't even tell, but they're like iridescent and then the scales are drawn on it. They are just like so cute. 
I would die if I got these. In fact, it's killing me to not keep them because I really, really want them because I don't even have any wine glasses, but I want to give them away. So someone will win these and I'm sad about it, but and happy too. I'm more happy than sad. Goodness knows I don't need more things. I'm just being greedy. Greedy at Christmas time, I'm the Grinch. I just Grinched it up, guys, sorry. The next thing that I also love a lot is this optimism cup. It has optimism written on it in a rainbow, which obviously is like something I believe in very, very strongly. Has a strong, and it has a strong, has a straw, and it's just like one of those sippy cups where you can like store your drink in it, go to school, go to work, and then carry it around without it like going everywhere. So it's, <laughs> it's very much like a statement sippy cup. And I just think it's, I think it's awesome. <laughs> I want that too. <laughs> While we're talking about spicing up your office, also, we have this rainbow unicorns and coffee mug. This is basically my aesthetic, because rainbows, unicorn, coffee is like how I live and survive. But it's really cute, it has blue in the inside, and it's just, I like it because it's like not too over the top. So if you want to be more subdued in your love of all things magical, this is definitely more appropriate for work, but it's, it's, awesome. but it's still awesome. <laughs> like, it's still like with someone, it's one of those things where it like sit on your desk, and someone will be like, oh, what's that say? And then they'll be like, oh, that's pretty, that's good. That's good, girl's cool. So these are Harry Potter socks, and they say books turn muggles into wizards. And I just think it's a fun thing, like if you have a friend that's a Harry Potter fan, you can get them socks like this. I know Mod Cloth has a bunch of different ones. I gravitated to Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter. Like I love it so much, I'm such a nerd. Proud Ravenclaw, though I do have like, my like minor, like if we're talking like astrology, but in terms of Harry Potter, I'm a major Ravenclaw, and then like my, I have like a, Slytherin lunar moon. I know, right? It's just I'm business oriented and I like to like succeed in life. I don't know, maybe, I don't wanna say that. I'm mostly a Ravenclaw. Anyway, when I remember when someone says Slytherin, it just makes you sound like a terrible person. But then I know lots of amazing people that are Slytherins that aren't mean. It's just, it's been tainted by Draco Malfoy and I'm sad about it. So I have a couple of friends that are definitely like goth and that's their style aesthetic. So I saw these and I thought these were like the coolest gift to get them because it was something so unexpected and so different. They're skull scissors and I just like, look how cool those are. And I feel like this is a way to like get something really cool that they can display in their house and even use that's different that nobody else is gonna think of getting this. So these are awesome, I love them. I love the 90s and if you haven't figured that out yet, like. Shocker. And I saw that they had roll on glitter. Like body glitter is coming back. Yes! And this is roll on stardust lavender. So it has, I guess, like a lavender smell to it. I'm gonna just smell it really quick. I can't smell it. I don't wanna turn the ball because I'm gonna give this to one of you guys. And then I would have like rubbed it all over my body and like stuck my nose in it. And it would just be weird. So it smells like lavender and I just thought this is such a fun like again cute beauty thing sparkle is always good for holiday season and I would definitely want to receive this for myself someone's gonna love this I hope next we have an adorable pair of earrings and I just really liked the colors on these and I felt like you know what statement earrings always fun aren't these cool I just, I think I just wanted them for myself. And I had one of those moments where I was like, oh, I need these, because they just look how cute they would look. Can't you see, like you can see me, even with this outfit right now, even though they're not the right colors, they're so cute. And I like earrings that make a little bit of noise. Let's people know I'm coming and that I mean business. So I'm about to let you guys in on my ultimate white elephant gift secret. My favorite thing to do for white elephant gift and in my family, I don't know how everybody else's white elephant gifts go, but in my family, it's like literally buy the most hideous thing you can. So you never actually want anything that's under the tree. Like Kevin Federline CDs. Those are the types of things my family buys. But my classic play that I feel is a solid play for any white elephant gift, whether you're bringing a good gift or a bad gift, is to get a really nice picture frame, like one that someone would want, like this one, right? And then you put an absolutely terrible photo of yourself in it. Just like the worst photo you can find. <laughs> and you literally bring a framed photo of yourself. 
off to the white elephant gift exchange. <laughs> and it's so funny. I don't know why, but like people's reactions when they open it are always hilarious. And it's obviously not like a good photo of yourself, so you're not like vain about it. It's just like, <laughs> who does that? Weirdos like me, and it's hilarious. I love this frame because this is the exact type of frame that I would do. I actually might do that. I'm trying to think if I have one coming up uh, that I can use it for. <laughs> Sorry, advance warning. This. It's, it's like a photo like this. Like that, so I put in the frame. So, one of my old other standby gifts that I always get people when I'm trying to get them like a real gift is I love to get inventive cutting boards. It's something that we all use and we don't really like think about needing it and we usually have really ugly ones in our house, right? So I like to find things that are either like a cute cutting board or a serving board or something like that. Something that we all need but we just never think about. So when I saw this one, I just went crazy. It is a cutting board that says cheesy love songs. It's more of a cheese board, so it's more you would put like cheeses and serving things on it, but I thought this is awesome. Like for anyone that likes to have guests or serve others, this is super fun. It's a little bit different, but it's something totally practical, practical, totally usable. It's not something you're gonna get and be like, what the hell do I do with this? Like, thank you for the 400th candle I've received, though I still like getting candles, I'm not gonna lie. In fact, I, yeah, I bought a bunch of candles. But anyway, a lot of people don't. <laughs> So it's not another candle, it's something very useful that's a little bit different. And I think this is the cutest thing ever. I love that it's a you know a little tape deck. It just reminds me, again, of the 90s. Shocker. One of the things I'm doing for the holidays is all of these festive events, which you guys will see on YouTube. And one of them I'm doing is learning how to make traditional holiday cocktails. So everything from wassail to like modern day holiday cocktails. So when I saw this set, I was just like, this is so perfect. It's like everything you need to make a cocktail all in one in bright fun colors. And as someone who's just getting into cocktail making, I didn't realize all like the stuff you need like that you need like a, this thing. Everybody knows you need a shaker, right? And then that's like to make juice and like that's a, what they call a jigger, which is what you measure the alcohol in. And I don't know what that is. It's something else you probably need. But I think this is super fun because it gives you an opportunity to, again, give something super practical, but also fun and help someone explore maybe a new activity. I think this would be really fun to give someone in conjunction with a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> That's how I want to receive it. Like this and a nice bottle of Tito's. That's how you know you're a good friend when you show up with this kit and a bottle of Tito's at my door. Hint to all my friends. That's what I want. So let's say you got a man in your life. I do not, but I do have a best friend in my life and she has a husband and I did get this for him. Mockloth has a ton of like cute t-shirts. This one made me laugh so hard I got it. And I don't know, <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb, but I love it so much. Y'all ready for this? Da 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 Pump, pump the jam, pump it up. Please tell me people remember Jock Jams, and if you don't know what Jock Jams is, go and Google it. It was this terrible mix of like, who knows how many songs, and I think they were actually different songs, but in my head it became just one really long Jock Jam. Like, and it just went on and on, but it did start with, y'all ready for this, or y'all ready for this, and I just thought, this is genius, whoever designed this t-shirt. If you're single, look me up, give it a ring ding ding, let's, let's go on a date, because you obviously understand me at a visceral level. So this is the only thing I am keeping from this haul. And I am keeping it because I have a plant that someone gifted me and it's gonna die. And <laughs> it needs to be repotted. And <laughs> when I show you what this planter looks like, you'll understand. If you're like me, you get plants and you think, I'm gonna take care of it this time. It's gonna live. It's gonna make it through and I'm gonna, you know, take care of this like it should be taken care of, right? I'm trying to unwrap and tell a story at the same time. It's not working super well, but whatever. But you say to yourself, I'm gonna do it. This plant will not die on my watch. And you believe it. You believe it for like a good week and a half. You believe it. And then you go away and you forget that you even had a plant and it's dead. 
So I introduce you to the most ingenious planter ever. It says, please don't die. Right here, down at the bottom, engraved, please don't die. This speaks to me on a level that no other product in this haul speaks to me, because this is an honest gift. This is reality. This gift is reality. Um, I think it's hilarious. I think it's literally the most hilarious thing. And here's the funniest thing. I just looked over there at the plant that I was going to repot into this. It's dead. <laughs> Here I'm going on about how I'm going to take care of it and I've already killed it. So this will also be part of the giveaway now because I feel like I'm not responsible enough to have another plant. <laughs> it's a miracle date is alive. Let's be real here. I have to work very hard and it's a good thing I love them. I think if a plant could talk to me and give me kisses and tell me that it was hungry, then maybe it would have a better chance of surviving here. But the reality is, it's a, I'm sorry plant, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> I should film it. I should film it. It's so gross. Actually, I don't want to because I'm a little embarrassed that I've already killed it. I got it for my birthday, which was like a month ago. It didn't even make it past a month. Anyway, that's it all. That's all of the stuff I have in this all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for putting up with my bangs. Thanks for putting up with my like random stories that I invoked from Christmas past. I hope someone used my white elephant tip because that was a solid tip. I really helped you, you know, crush a white elephant should you like, listen. When I say crush a white elephant and I don't put gift exchange after it, it sounds like I'm encouraging you guys to go kill elephants. And I just want to clarify, no. Don't kill elephants. But I hope you like getting inspired. And with that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later. Links to everything are down below in the description box. What am I going to say now? Peace. Get out of here. It's over.